We're here at the Clear Springs Colony with Mike Wirtz and Alvin Kleinsaucer. Uh, they've been kind enough to show us their facilities uh, for the hatching eggs. And right now we're standing in the pullet barns, which is one of a few barns that they have uh, here. So we'll uh, just ask a couple questions just so you can learn a little bit more about the hatching eggs and, and the whole process behind it. So Alvin, I guess to start, how old are the birds you have right now in, in the pullet barn? These here are uh, one week old today. Yeah. Uh, what do they eat generally? Uh, feed. While we're on starter, crumbles for the first four days, just so it kind of uh, fares better in their gizzard. And then after four days, we go to home ground uh, starter for about three weeks, and then they go on to a grower feed. Okay. Uh, so I assume that they just drink typically water. Do you guys have well water or do you have city water? Uh, well water, treated with uh, silver and peroxide. And so how many birds do you typically get in a place? Normally around 17,000 females and 2,500 males every 11 weeks. Every 11 weeks, okay. And what temperature do you have the barn at when they first get in? Uh, 35 Celsius for the first 24 hours and then we usually try and cool it about a half a degree Celsius every day. And where do these chicks come from? Uh, normally out of Sillisaw, Oklahoma. And if they can't supply them, then Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, and they come as baby chicks? As one day old, yes. And then how long are they in this facility before they move? Uh, normally about 20 weeks, and then they get moved to the breeder facility. So how old are these birds that are in here? These birds that we're going to take a look at here would be 11 weeks. And is it kind of the same system that we saw on the other one with the heating and the air yep. exchange and everything? Everything is the same, and they stay here till they're 20 weeks, and then we move them to the breeder facility. So where we are right now is the heating system um, for this area of this part of the colony. Hey Alvin, what can you tell me about this barn? This barn would be a breeder barn and the birds would be 23 weeks of age. So they'll probably be uh, dormant at about four lux till about 25 weeks of age or they hit the right weight and then we start lighting them so they sexually mature and that's when they start breeding and then we would drop those nests. Okay, so what do you mean by lighting? We would give them 100% uh, of the light capacity in this barn, whereas in, in the growing stage, they only get 4% of the light, so they don't sexually mature. Okay. So we're in the last barn we're gonna visit today. So I guess Alvin, what's, what do you got in this barn? That would be the main breeder barn here. So this would be the breeding area in here. That would be the nesting over here. Females eat in the back. And there's a grill where the rooster can't get his uh, comb through, he would get stuck. So the roosters would eat off of this line, which comes down once a day to about this height. And this way you can control their weights by feeding them a different amount every day. Okay, so the males and the females eat different amounts of feed. Yes, and also a different uh, blend of feed. That's a different feed. So these here, these are the nest boxes where they, they yep. go to put their eggs. That is correct. And then they roll down onto a belt and then they go out to a main collection station. Oh, I see, okay. So Mike, what can you tell me what's behind this here? This is the egg storage. It's a climatized room that keeps exact humidity, except temperature 24 seven. And they are now, I believe, picking up twice a week. So right now it's empty, except for trades. So they pick up from you about twice a week? Well, they will pick up twice a week, once we're in full production, maybe three times a week. So, well, I guess, I guess to sign off, this is what it's like to be at a hatching egg facility. 
I would like to thank Alvin and of course Mike for letting us come in and, and tour the facilities. And thanks for coming. Thanks, thanks for having us, Alvin. You're welcome.